Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome to a very special box break opening. Today we have one of each of the Pokemon Versus boxes. I uh, got these off of a guy on eBay um, a couple days ago. So, and these are still sealed. There's a couple slits in each side, but I, I don't know. It looks like that's kind of how they were made, but nonetheless, like the packs are still sealed and it looks like they were untampered with. So it should be pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to open each one of these and all the packs in them. So I think they're supposed to be, I think 10 packs and each pack has thir or f either 15 or 30 cards. I, not 100% sure. Um, I've never opened any of these cards or any of these packs before. Um, if you have seen some of my past videos, I did get some of the cards graded, but I really, really enjoy this set. I love the Johto region. That's like my favorite. I've, I've always been a gold and silver fan and a little bit more than all the other ones. So i um, really excited to do this. So we're going to, depending on how long it takes to open each one, I may split this up into three different parts so one for each box so um, we're gonna start with the grass lightning box and then I think move to the fighting and psychic and end with the fire and water so um, just gonna take it really slow on each of these not really trying to do anything too crazy because these cards are old and extremely valuable um, I don't know if anyone's ever done box break videos on YouTube for these so I know I'm sure this is probably pretty crazy to a lot of collectors, but I'm not really one to keep stuff sealed. I enjoy the experience of opening boxes more than just keeping them on the shelf. So we're going to get this one going. I want to keep the box boxes intact as I can because I do plan on keeping this box for display purposes. And it's just really cool. So. All right, we got our trash over there, and this is just the back of the box. It says like, for sale in Japan only. Um, just some of the, the side, just in case if you guys have never seen any of these boxes. This is my first time seeing them in person. So, all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Woo, there it is. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep it as in good of shape as I can, so I don't really wanna like break that top part or anything. So let's go ahead and get our packs out. Slowly. <laughs> All right, so we got those. Put the box back in. I'm gonna move this, move this guy out of the way first. So we have the box that we're doing on display in the front. So as you can see, these are extremely large and thick packs. Um, and it's pretty cool, like each side is like a different color. So we got green and we got a yellow, or more yellow on this side. Um, wow, really cool. So it looks like we get one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so 10 packs, and I, I think I was right. It was 10 and I think it was like 30 cards in each pack. So they're like a half deck pack almost. So let's go ahead and get right into this. I don't know how hard these are to open. I'm gonna feel it out first because I do want to try and keep the packs in good shape. So let's start at the bottom. Yeah, these are pretty easy to open, so that's good. And I'm not sure if there's like a pack trick, if the foil's just right in front. So we are going to just learn as we go. Um, let's see. There we go. Keeping the pack in nice shape. Okay, so it looks like the foil is in the front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show it off because I don't want to mess it up. So the first card we got, oh, they're actually cool. They have little slits on them too. So that's kind of nice. It keeps them in good shape. So we got a Faulkner Skarmory. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this part off. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna sleep him. <laughs> I don't want any of these things getting messed up. Because again, these are extremely valuable and hard to come by. Yeah, they're looking like they're in really good shape. All right, so sorry, I'm just making sure everything's in good condition. I'm 
like I said, it'll be a little bit slower than normal, but again, when you're dealing with these kinds of, this kind of quality of cards, you want to make sure you keep them in as good a shape as possible. So there is Faulkner Skarmory. Very cool. And then we also have a Metal Energy. So I'm going to get my sleeves out here. There's the foil versus metal energy. These look really cool. I like the, the energies from this set, so really excited to have it. Looks like it's pretty well centered too. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes on the centering on these since the left border is so much bigger. Um, so usually you just kind of look at the back and you can tell they're pretty good. All right, so. Let's put those two to the side first, and then I'll, I'm gonna go through the rest of the cards because I really don't know what all's in here. So <laughs> we have a grass, grass energy, lots of grass energy, a couple lightning. So it does look like a few of these are sticking together. So I'm gonna be as careful as I can with each one of these. Cool. So we got Janine's cards, Koga. We got Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. Blossom. I think that's Koga's Crobat. And Bugsy's Pinsir. The Raichu. I think Lantern is supposed to be behind this. Oh no, we got uh, Jasmine's Raichu. That's right, I forgot she was in here. Lance's Ampharos. Oh, the dreaded Whitney's Mill Tank. <laughs> a Lick -a Tongue. Cool, we got a Lance's Dragonite as well. That's a nice card. And then we got our trainers in here. So as you can see, they kind of stuck together, but it doesn't look like they're damaged or anything. I think it's just from being sealed together for so long um, that they just kind of stuck. But I don't think it's any of the cards themselves are actually messed up. So that's a good thing. So it looks like we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and then the two foils so yeah so 30 cards exactly in each booster pack or half deck pack whatever you want to call them <laughs> so and then lastly we get this little and i guess this is like their guide or something for each of the booster packs in each one so all right let's go ahead and get right into the next one and see if we can go a little bit quicker for you guys you know it took a little bit longer on that, so um, let me go a little quicker here. All right, there's that. Go ahead and slide that off. And who do we got? All right, we got Bugsy Scizor. Man, that card is really awesome looking. Like I said, I really like how that card looks. And then we have our Metal Energy. So I'm going to sleeve up the Scizor real quick. sleeve up this energy too. Okay. So, and then we'll skip the energies and see if we can get right into the Pokemon themselves. So we got a Janine's Arbok, Janine's Beedrill, Venomoth, Koga's Crobat, uh, Bugsy's Lydian, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, Jasmine's Jolteon, uh, Lance's Ampharos, Whitney's Miltank, the, uh, I think it's Whitney's Lickitung, and Whitney's Furret. And we got our trainers. Which I think I will just kind of go through the Pokemon themselves, because I don't really know the names of all the trainers, so... Um, 
just go ahead and get these out of the way real quick. Okay. Move this pack over to the side. And we got our next one. Get this slid off. And we got, nice, we have, I believe this is Bruno Steelix. Very cool. Sticking to us. There you go. Very cool looking. I'll go ahead and sieve up our energy here. All right. Get through those. So, and then I think for the most part, each one is going to have relatively similar cards just because it, this is only going to cover the lightning, the grass, the normal, and I think the steel type Pokemon in this side of the, uh, or in this part of the expansion. So we got Ampharos again, Mill Tank, and we got another Dragonite. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, so get that over here. Next pack up. Oh, cool. We got another Faulkner Skarmory. Very cool. I really like the way that card looks. And then we got another Metal Energy. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve those up. So I know there's only... What is it? I think there was a total of 15 foils throughout the entire set if you include the energies. So it is very likely that I pull, I want to say, two or three of each. Um, foil in these so I think now I think I've hit almost all of the commons and uncommons oh, there's a shuckle um, so I'm just gonna show the foils for now just for the sake of time on this video because I know we're at 13 minutes right now so I'm gonna kind of speed it up here to just show the foils We got Jasmine Steelix. Really like the way this card looks. That's a uh, new foil we haven't seen yet. There you go, for all your viewing pleasure. Very cool. I believe that's a new one, the, uh, what is it, Whitney, or sorry, Jasmine's Ampharos, another Lance's Dragonite, very cool to see that. All right, so we have reached the halfway mark. <laughs> Bugsy Scizor, very cool. Okay. 
we'll go ahead and go right into the next pack here. go we got another Bruno Steelix very nice it's pretty cool that you get one of these metal energies in every pack too another Jasmine Steelix. So it looks like we managed to pull two of each one. So now whatever we get will be a, uh, well, another extra, but um, we at least got two of each and that's pretty cool. I like learning the ratios of these, especially for these older products because like I said, I've never opened anything like this before or got to open these before. So I always like seeing what it was like to buy one of these boxes and Oh, that's pretty cool. Lieutenant Surge's Lantern. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, we got two more packs. So let's see who we get as our extras on these. All right, we got another uh, Jasmine Steelix. Very cool. I will not say no to this card. I really like this uh, artwork on this, like I've said a couple times already. <laughs> Let's see if I can get there. We go. So, looks good. I'm just, I'm very glad whoever owned these before me uh, took very good care of them. So I'm not really seeing any damage on these or anything like that. And um, they must have been kept in a decent temperature room because they aren't. I mean, they stick together a little bit just from the packaging, but they aren't like leaving any kind of like residue from their own pictures or their foils. So very excited to see that. Um, so probably all of the foils, with the exception of like some of the energies, I don't want to grade like 10 energies. Um, but all the other foils, I think I'm going to send to grading for sure um, just to try and get it. Wow. Okay. So we're, we're going to get four of these in this one box. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely have a good shot at maybe getting some black labels on these finally. Um, and then whichever ones I have extras of, maybe I can trade off or sell off and see what I can get for them. So, alrighty y'all. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do a quick recap. Um, so each one obviously has their energy with them. Just how I set them up apart from each other. So. Um, so we got Metal Energy with a Jasmine Steelix, then we have another Jasmine Steelix. And so we got a total of four Jasmine Steelix out of this. We got two of Bugsy's Scizor. Two, oh, I thought I had two. Oh yeah, there we go, just didn't put them all together. Uh, so we got two of Bruno Steelix, and then two of Faulkner's uh, Skarmory. So. That is what you get as far as the foils go from this versus box in particular for the uh, lightning and grass. So keep a lookout. We're going to do, I think, like I said, the fighting and psychic one next and then the fire and water one to finish it off. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video very much. This is a really unique opportunity. I'm sorry it was a little bit longer and a little bit more slow, but like I said, these cards are so valuable. I just want to take my time with them and make sure I don't mess anything up. <laughs> So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Take care.